Hello, and welcome to Linux Device Drivers, programming at the kernel level. I'm Doug Abbott, and I'll be your instructor for this class. The purpose of this class is to show you how device drivers interact with the kernel and the um, rich variety of kernel APIs that are available to kernel device uh, driver writers. Um, you'll also learn how Linux handles asynchronous I.O. in a way that is transparent to application programs. We'll examine some of the unique problems of debugging code in kernel space. And we'll, we'll find out that much of a device driver really has nothing to do with the hardware itself, but it's really all about interacting with the kernel. There are a number of programming exercises in this class, and the only way to learn programming is to do it. So I strongly urge you to follow along um, with the programming exercises. Uh, most of the exercises are done on the workstation. Uh, they've been built and tested under kernel version 3.3.4, which comes with Fedora 17. Later in the class, we'll use a single board computer to exercise some I.O. So, the one of the fundamental object objectives in this class is to learn about kernel loadable modules and how to create and build them, because they turn out to be the fundamental mechanism for building device drivers. Um, we'll learn about the four types of devices that Linux defines and what makes them different. And by the end of this class, then, you should be able to write and debug kernel-level code. This is not a beginning class. Um, you must be reasonably proficient in C programming, and it certainly helps if you've had some experience with other operating systems at the operating system level. Um, I expect that you are reasonably comfortable with Linux at the command level, most of, virtually all of the examples in this class require root privileges. So if your system happens to be managed by a company IT department, ask your system administrator for a sudo account. That's spelled S-U-D-O. And just for the record, Linux is a trademark of Linus Torvalds, who, as everyone knows, began this, all this crazy Linux stuff back in 1991. So, here's a brief review of topics for the class. We'll begin by asking the basic questions, what the heck is a device driver and why do we care? We'll look at kernel loadable modules, which are a basic element for being able to build device drivers. That will lead us to a consideration of the basic character device driver and how it interacts with the Linux kernel. We'll get into the issues of debugging kernel code and see how that is different from debugging applications. Then we'll look at the problem of blocking I.O. That is, what happens if I.O. can't occur when you ask for it? Then we'll finally get around to accessing some real hardware. Uh, associated with that is the problem of handling interrupts. Then we'll move on to some other more advanced topics. We'll look at how the kernel manages memory allocation. We'll see how it manages time, and we'll look at a number of synchronization mechanisms built into the kernel. Then we'll move on to the other classes of Linux devices, the block device and the network device. We'll look at PCI devices as an introduction to the plug-and-play mechanism. And then we'll go on to look at USB drivers as a more, ex a more advanced example of, of USB implementation. Then we'll take a brief look at the Linux driver model and see how that helps us in managing devices in general. And finally, we'll integrate our device driver into the kernel source tree. 
As I said, you can't learn programming without actually doing it. And there are a number of exercises uh, associated with this course, and I strongly urge you to do them. So go to the course materials tab on the website and download the exercise guide and the exercise code files. All right, let's get started.